Greetings, the postman cometh. He brought my natural beauty box. I've had it for a few days now, and I haven't done my uh, opening yet. As you might notice, there is a bird hiding in my hair, um, and he's trying to go for my earring. Basically, I'm trying to teach him how to wear his little flight suit, and he was traumatized when I put it on, and so he jumped on the back of me, and um, there he is. And you can see he still has his little flight suit on. But he jumped on the back of me, and he's uh, hiding behind there. So, I don't know. He may or may not behave and let me get through this video. I got the Natural Beauty box. Here it is. It's very cute. I've seen a lot of openings. I've seen the spoiler. It looks like a lot of body products this time. I tend to like the ones that have the face products and the makeup. Yeah, that's just me. And in fact, I went ahead and I canceled my Eco Emmy box because even though I liked it and I was kind of getting an eclectic mix of products, I just decided that I really enjoyed the boxes better that were focused on skincare and makeup. So I have kept my Truth and Aging box, which I love. I like this Natural Beauty box, even though this time it will be more focused on bath products. And I love the Good box. I just have gotten one of those. And boy, if all of them are as smashing as that first one, I am hooked. But I do like the Natural Beauty Box. It's a Canadian company. From them, I did purchase the gigantic Beezeline product. This is a Vaseline alternative product. I use it to take my eye makeup off. And this Happy Pumpkin uh, hair balm, hydrating hair balm. And I love both of these products a lot. And for me, that's what a sample service is about, is getting the kinds of samples that I would want to buy more of. Okay, so I'm going to jump in and just get started at random. There is this pink paper, in, which is now everywhere, but it was there. I do like packaging, but hmm, can get kind of messy sometimes. Love this little box. The first thing I pulled out was this Lavender Gentle Creamy Facial Cleanser. Who is this by? Let me look. Virga Botanicals. Last time in my Natural Beauty box, I got from Purinata this Fruit Enzyme Exfoliating Cleanser. I have loved it. I am almost to the bottom of the sample. Really leaves my face moisturized and soft. Smells good. Love this product. It is preserved with sodium benzoate. Not my favorite preservative. Prefer not to have that in my products. Shea Terra has their creams, for example, are preserved with sodium benzoate. Don't like that. But Shea Terra's cleansers are not. And so I prefer the Shea Terra cleansers because they are pure. I love the gamage, I like their black soap, I like their hydrating soap, but I'm really tempted. I enjoyed this. I'm going to miss it when it's gone. So I will give this a try, but I have to say it's got like a big old hurdle to jump because I've got some cleansers that I really, really love that are natural and organic. What I do with cleansers, if I don't use them, if I find that they're not my favorite and I have others that I like better, I use them to clean brushes because they're gentle and, you know, they're gentle enough for your face, they're gentle enough for the brushes. They do take off the makeup, that's what a cleanser does. If I try it and I say, no, it's really not up to the Purinata or the Shea Terra products, then I'll use it to clean brushes. There is this accidental herbal cinnamon honey lip jam and this I'm going to put away because you always get a lip product it feels like in these natural boxes and I have four opened by my nightstand right now four so I'm going to get through those and I'm going to put this in my sample box and use it down the line these I know will be for my son these are by wine delights it is a natural bath salt assortment it is Epsom salt Dead Sea salt uh, Bali reef salt Hawaiian red salt, all sorts of salts in here. I'm not a big bather. My son really enjoys taking long, steamy baths, so I'm going to give these to him, and I won't tell my husband because my husband is convinced, and, you know, he could be right, but he's convinced that uh, these salts erode the pipes. That would not be good. This is a skin cream, face cream, and it is by Biograzia. All the ingredients are on the website, so I will have to do some research on this before I use it. So that one's just going into my sample box. What else is in here? By Petal Organics. Here's another I haven't heard of before. Petal Organics. 
This is the Firming Phyto Petal Bioactive Body Cream. Holy cow, that's just hard to say. The ingredients are on the site. What is that smell? It has a familiar smell. Not one of my favorites. And I can't place it. Body cream. Gonna give it to my son. He can put it on after he takes a bath. I guess you can tell I didn't like the scent. If I were better about faking it, I would fake it. There is this Arizona Healing Balm. I actually could use something for my cuticles. Uh, this could be used for many things, but I really do need a good cuticle kind of designated cuticle product. So I think I'll go ahead and use that for that. And last time I got the Arizona Organic Facial Oil. It is an argan oil that's mixed with a lot of other oils. I did find myself breaking out after using this, which means either I didn't like the combination or it could have been that I was using foundation, I have to say. And my foundation is probably getting old. And I would blame that before I would blame this. Although every once in a while with facial oils that are mixed, you get just one particular product or facial oil that you just happen to react to. It's a little easier when you're just using argan oil because then um, you know, right? And so you can blend this one and blend that one. But I like the idea of having this mixed argan oil plus. And so I think you're going to eat my earring. So I think uh, I'm going to give this a shot again. And this one I'm going to use definitely for cuticles. This is by ATL International. It is St. John's wort oil, and you can use it the way that you would use any other oil. I use oils in my hair, I use oils on my body, I use oils on my face. So a facial oil, yeah, two thumbs up. Here is a product that's right up my alley. It is Balance Seawater Facial Mist, and it has seawater, essential oils of sandalwood, rosewood, lavender, and rose geranium. It is using certified organic ingredients. I love facial mist. I right now use the Esther C from Shaytera. I adore it. I'm also using their chamomile. I like that a little less well, but my husband has really sensitive skin. And so he actually uses that particular one when I remind him to use it. He forgets most of the time. Let me see really quickly who this is by. Authentic Skin Remedies. And this is called Balanced Seawater Facial Mist. My skin loves ocean air, so I think I will keep this one. This is the Happy Pumpkin Exfoliating Mini Sugar Pumpkin Soap. And first of all, I always give soaps to my husband. I'm keeping this one. It's so darn cute, and I'm usually not a package freak. But I love pumpkin. I adore pumpkin. I'm happy with the Happy Pumpkin Soap. I might have to get more of those. I really might. Oh, I might share it with my husband. I don't know. But I can tell I would buy these. Yeah. Lisa Mia 596. I think those are the right numbers. She sells Scentsy products. And so uh, I just got from her some more Scentsy products. And one of the things I bought was a pumpkin scented kind of um, scent. I know. Bar. What do you call them? The little wax things. Sorry, I'm a little distracted by the baby bird on my shoulder who is starting to get over the fact that he's in his flight suit and starting to uh, enjoy his time out by eating my button. Vicky, this is probably freaking the heck out of Vicky. Vicky, I'm so sorry I have the bird out. I feel like I should put the bird away now. Go, Jeff Gordon. Yikes. The last thing to talk about is this Burst Organic Beauty Bar. I know a lot of people have been excited about this. This is a product or a line where you design your own skincare. So they did give some samples. They gave me the Blueberry and Vanilla Rich Island Butter. And this is the Kiwi and Strawberry Body Wash. That goes to my son because it's like a bubble thing. But at any rate, you go through and you have this, like you pick your flavor or your scent, your antioxidant extract, and your moisturizer. And so you get to kind of design your very own uh, bath product. That sounds like fun. So I'm going to check on that. Sometimes with the Canadian products, the shipping is so expensive. Last time they gave a shipping break, and boy, I was on there buying a couple of things. And so I might do that again. The other thing about the Natural Beauty Box is that apparently there's various ways that you can earn points. 
um, post a blog review, post a video review. I guess you can become an affiliate. You get a reward kind of perk system with every $10, not including shipping and tax that you spend. So there's quite a few ways that you can build up points, and perhaps you can build up enough to offset shipping. That would be kind of a nice goal or a nice thing to think of. So at any rate, this is my natural beauty box, cute, cute, cute little beauty box. And although it was a lot of bath and body products, so a lot of it's going to my son, this is a service I will definitely stick with. I really loved the last skincare box, and some of these lines I'm really happy with. The Happy Pumpkin line, the Beezeline, I was really, really happy with. Purinata, I'm really, really happy with. So I really think I'm probably going to discover some more products through this particular service. And now I can see my little baby is starting to perk up. He's done hiding underneath my hair, and now he just really wants to play. He's got the button thing going on. He's got the card thing going on. He's just looking for trouble. Sorry, Vicky. He, he's very sweet, Vicky. He's very sweet. He gives kisses. Yeah. Although, see, sometimes he gets a little cranky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come up here. Okay, so that is it. I hope you all are having a great day. It is TGIF. Yay, it's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Make it a great one. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? You want a piece of paper? You want a piece of paper? Do you want a piece of paper? That would be better than a button. You want to take the button off my jacket?